Good morning, folks. That is a calm-looking star, isn't it? Today we've got an earthquake, deep space news, and some of the cold kind. But first, even with a quiet sun, there's space weather here at Earth. So let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star, first revealing the lack of bright sunspots and also the lack of solar flares and ejecta. Embedded in between coronal hole extensions from the north is a much thinner, dark, snake-like plasma filament rope that has survived the limb crossing and will face Earth today as the primary eruption threat. The larger dark coronal hole structure north of that is responsible for the space weather we already do have at Earth. Solar wind underwent significant intensification throughout the day yesterday, driving level 2 geomagnetic storm conditions in the evening that continued into the morning hours, and at least one reverberation is expected today. We had a significant earthquake strike Papua New Guinea yesterday. There were two QuakeWatch.net members who got the hit. Councillor Gimber's red zone covering Papua was dead on, and our own big red blob over the Papua region took the hit at the eastern one-third mark of the alert zone itself. Contest continues for the first to get a seven-pointer. Learn the history, forecasting techniques, and see if you can learn to predict earthquakes as well. We're now on to an optical, radio, and x-ray view of Abel 2744. They are noting numerous collisions of galaxies that created a blob of its own in the x-ray spectrum, which is the blue, whereas the red radio shots detail emissions from the collisions and remnant material. New information coming out about the only part of Antarctica whose ice is struggling. We learned that it was a subsurface volcano and geothermal source event, and we now know this has been the case for centuries and is indeed the cause of that sheet instability. A quick note on how most of the world is now joining the awake observers in mind. Collapse of faith in mainstream media is sown and currently curing to more than half of people not trusting the news. Anyway, back to something cold. This graphic on the Weather Channel says it better than we could say it or show it. Here comes winter. Part 3 of Where Are We Going came out last night. It appears we are all having fun in that series so far, and we've got Part 4 coming up hopefully later tonight. After watching how many of you jumped on tickets yesterday, I need to officially put notice for tickets being endangered for observing the Frontier 2018, along with rooms at the Crown Plaza Hotel venue. 100% layman level understanding from some of the best in the world. Hope to see you there. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got the wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.